Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at this 1963 single cab ute, which is actually my wife's, and I surprised her for her 40th birthday and got this uh, in the front yard, and you'll see a little bit of video footage of me surprising her. She always wanted a single cab ute. This one's a bit special because it's obviously the muffin top uh, high roof version, which was only an Australian variant and uh, quite a special thing. So. First off, these pictures here um, is my mate picking it up from a farm, a local farm that uh, had it on there. And you'll see in the next picture here, this is actually um, Rick's farm. He's a, 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 a Vogsy recycler, local guy. And um, you can see the ute there tucked in amongst all the other gems. And uh, I ended up purchasing it off my friend and uh, got it home here. And you can see had it had it there ready to go. She's pretty rough, but definitely worth restoring. Uh, it's a great looking little ute. It was always difficult to try and hide the uh, the money purchase on the bank account from the wife because she's always onto those sort of things as they all always are. And I was uh, definitely cagey for the last few days, you know, before I'd made the purchase, you know, so that she wouldn't find out and uh, you know ruin the surprise. But yeah, you can see there, it's um, <laughs> definitely got a lot of rust hidden underneath it, as you'll see in a minute. But it's sitting there strategically ready to go. I even actually put a little purple bow on the front of it here for the reveal. Yeah, logistically, it was a bit of a nightmare to try and get it there before she'd come home from work. And that's what we were kind of waiting for. Um, you know, get it put in the corner there, get the bow ready. And I have got a little bit of video footage of her driving in the driveway. Unfortunately, the sound um, it didn't work. So there's no sound with it. But you'll see her reaction as she drives in the driveway and sees this ute for the first time. It's It's pretty... Pretty priceless. So uh, yeah, just just check this out here. All right, here she comes on the old Toyota Camry that she's she's got. Bit of a classic. And yeah, drives on in, and you can see there she's like, "Oh my God, what is this?" So she kind of didn't quite get it at first, and then I I sort of said to her, "That's yours," and she was like, "What the hell? Are you kidding me?" So yeah, she was pretty excited. A little bit emotional there. Yeah, it was just great that she had no idea that I had surprised her with this thing and uh, it was always hard to keep it from her. So here's a pic of her standing next to it. She's pretty chuffed. And uh, yeah, but you know, as you'll see in a minute when we start diving into this thing, it's uh, inside the cab there was pretty good. It wasn't too bad. The, um, the roof, as you'll see here, had a little bit of rust around the top there. And... Um, that did take a little bit to, to repair, but you can see there's a little bit of a hole. Um, it had the side gates on it, which was pretty amazing. And, uh, yeah, you know, a little bit of rust inside it on those sections there, you know, inside the floor. Had the seat belt mounts there. You can see that was probably the worst of the rust on that section. And then, of course, in the tray, that section there is all bent in. Um, you know, it's got great patina there. And that was the thing. We were going to leave the patina um, <laughs> down near the treasure chest. And inside, that was really bad. That was, you know, the, some of the rails in here were completely gone. Uh, amazingly, it had the fuel tank dividers, which are quite rare to find. So they were in there, which was, which was good. But yeah, you can see in there, it had an absolute ton of rust in it. Um, you know, it, classic wasps nests as usual. The jacking point here is pretty bad. And uh, yeah, pretty bad. Here's the wasp's nest in the in the one third seat. I did get the one third seat, which was good, and I managed to get the two third later on. Then, of course, we started getting the gurney in there and um, spraying. You know, just trying to give it a bit of a clean. Yeah. So my mate Bruce is a plumber. He um, actually donated the uh, the hot water gurney. You can see him up on the roof there cleaning the gutters as a, as the plumber does. <laughs> he couldn't resist to get up there and give him a clean out. And you can see just the back here. Um, getting it in the um, in the engine compartment, you know, there's a lot of a lot of dirt and dust on it and rubbish. Um, but yeah, Kate, she you can see they cleaned up pretty nicely. Here's the wife giving the sides a clean. It actually had that primer on top of the paint, so we were actually we sanded that out, and uh, you can see there it almost got most of that uh, primer off it. And here we have the tailgates. That one was pretty pretty bad. <laughs> that definitely needs some repairing. Uh, the front bumper bar, I actually just clear-coated that and left it exactly as it was, which is pretty cool. Uh, the seat after taking the upholstery off, and that was, um, the springs are in good condition, actually. The steering wheel, yeah, needed a little bit of work on that one, quite cracked. And then we've got the 1500 um, 
single port motor, which we ended up rebuilding, which was fantastic. It wasn't the original motor, but um, still, you can see here, I uh, just started to pull it apart. And um, it did have some uh, water in the, um, in the case that was a bit of a concern, but we ended up, you know, cleaning it all out. And uh, it ended up being a pretty good motor in the end. So, yeah, that's the 1500. Okay, so in this shot here, I have de-skinned the roof and I'm welding the holes on the inner roof. As you know, with the Australian muffin top ute, there's airflow between a, a, a top skin and bottom skin of the roof. So that's what I've done here. I've taken the top skin off welded up all the holes that needed fixing. And then in the next shot here, I've um, reattached it, put that top skin back on again. A bit of a tricky job. There's a bit of welding you've got to do all the way around it. And you can see that's the start of that patina um, look that I was going for on the roof, which we'll get into later, how I um, achieved the, um, the result at the end. And in this next shot, you can see the vent system on this uh, muffin top. So you can see those holes up the top. And that's that void between the, the two skins of the roof. And that airflow goes down to the back of the cab, down into the floor, and then goes right back to the engine. So it's quite an effective way to keep the motor cool and uh, to stop the dust clogging up the motor from the side vents. And of course here, we're starting the restoration process. Of course, the first job is putting it on the rotisserie, getting it on, on the side and attacking the lower part rust and yeah, getting it done. So what I'll do, I'll put some music on, sit back and enjoy the process of cutting, welding, grinding, all that great stuff.
okay guys, so have a look at this. I've taken that uh, back section off and you can see that little split in the side and that's from the factory, which is totally bizarre. Obviously when they were manufacturing this, um, <laughs> this ute on the production line, someone was having a bad day because you can actually see in the next shot here what's going on. Yeah, have a look at that. That's from the factory. So poor old uh, Sven would have been on the production line going, I don't like this job. I hate it. I'm getting out of here. And he just left it like that. <laughs> Pretty funny. So yeah, so I had to uh, repair it and you know weld it up and get it all uh, <laughs> structurally sound again. It's definitely not a good thing you want to be seeing. And it was, you know, completely um, pinned in with another sheet. So it wasn't split because we thought originally it might have been split, but it was there from the factory, which is kind of crazy. Anyway, we'll get back to the music. Uh, enjoy and let's continue. Righto guys, so what we'll do, we're going to leave it for part one. Uh, stay tuned uh, when I upload part two of this restoration. And I will catch you in the next video. Enjoy, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you guys like to do. And I will see you in part two soon. Cheers guys.